Hello there, it's Give It A Swing and today I thought I'd give it a swing on the field. Now the weather forecast was still, there was going to be light winds and it was going to be sunshine. However, as you can see it's quite grim today, it's pretty dull. And what I'm doing is, I'm doing an interesting type of fishing. It's a bit unorthodox really for sea trout, but it works and on a day like today I'm, I'm not going to go out in that water in weird as I get my ass. But it's freezing out there, I promise you. So what I'm doing is I'm fishing uh, beach casting style, surf casting style with two static baits. Um, one bait is a lobworm that's been popped up because I've injected air into it and the other bait is actually a lugworm and I went digging lugworms yesterday. So let's just have a look at the first one. Just simple, you know, beach casting style. There's a little reel. There's the reel. Just a mid standard spinning reel and, and rod. It's 10 foot rods. They're both 10 foot rods. I've got two out. And again, I've got them up beach caster style looking for bites. And I've, and I've actually, this is um, this has got a bait runner capacity on it, um, this reel. So that one, I just click on the bait runner. So if a big fish comes, which they do occasionally, then it can just take line, no problem. I'll just do a little panorama view of the fjord. There's some swans. As you can see, it's a grey, grey day. I was hoping for sunshine today. Now I'm going to show you something a little bit funny. Funny and funny. I'm hoping the camera's picking that up, yeah. Those gentlemen there, every one of them has stood where the fish are. Now I've had this argument umpteen times with the local fishermen. And I said, you're all fixated with going out into this deep water. And at this time of year, the only water that's got any life in it is this inch, this, this shallow inshore water. That's where they're cruising for the food. And that's, that's 16 years experience of fishing this water. But look, they, they, just, they, just, can't, they just can't help themselves. They just, they, it's what I call flock mentality. The others do it, they read it in books, so it must be right. There they all are. But they've paid the license and they have a right to be there, so I'm, I'm not going to make a big issue out of it. What I'll do is now though, um, now I've got the rig set up, the baits are sat nice, so um, I think I'm going to have a cup of tea and get back to you if there's any developments. I think, I think, any well it always comes as a surprise, doesn't it? You know, we've caught thousands of fish, all of us that have been fishing for, you know, 40 years plus, and it still arrives like an electric shock, that, that bite, so I'll get back a bit later see if this um, this produces anything interesting with the lugworms it is salt water I've got to say that it is salt water so and I've used ragworm before to success but that was under a float on much much calmer conditions it's very windy today all right then so this is part one um, of, of this little fishing vlog um, so I'll get to get back to you when um, well hopefully when I get a fish okay oh. Not, hey, look at this. Just look at this. All you sea fishermen out there will recognise what that is. That's from the lugworm's tail, like a yellow dye. It looks like iodine. <laughs> Great. Well, I've got to get a fish today. It's got to happen. 